Well, good morning, everybody. Game time, Brian. Otherwise known as the mailman. Rise and grind, everybody. Rise and grind. Well, well, well. It's game day, and I woke up feeling like I was run over by a truck. I don't know what my issue is. I got some body aches going on. I think it's allergy related, but I don't know about the body aches. It's kind of a, I don't know. I, I feel horrible. It's all in my head. So I don't know what's going on, everybody. Fucking ridiculous. Day of the game and I'm feeling like ass ass. But you know, I'm going to work. Why? I don't know. Because all I do is get all I do is get uh, my stress level goes through the roof when I walk in that door. So I should be calling out, but I don't want to be that guy. So anyway, game day. Game day, game day. Um, yeah, I don't know that I feel any better or worse than I did. You know, I, I ain't going to false project any kind of... Um, confidence because I don't have a lot of confidence I'm confident that we got some really talented players on our team I'm confident that if we don't get it straight tonight it's not the end of the, of the season but we ain't making a play I mean yeah if, if we lose tonight it's wild card or bust and I you know we'd have to do something miraculous because our schedule gets unbelievably tough for the next few weeks now those teams that we're playing over the next few weeks aren't playing great Still, they're good teams. You know what I'm saying? Just like, you know, I'm hearing out with Dallas lost to an 0-2 Baltimore team. Come on, bro. You don't know football well enough to know that they're better than 0-2. I mean, just look at the talent they have, okay? It'll be it'll be borne out this year how good they are. But again, we lost to them. It wasn't as close as three points either. That's all that's all a mirage. Anybody thinks, well, we came back and gave it the old college try. No, we didn't. We didn't give shit. We were blown out, but I'm not looking back. I've already said, football's an emotional game. Once you mentally check out of a game, the other team can come back real quick. That's how close the talent level is. Believe it or not, everybody, talent level is really close. What puts uh, teams over the edge is being able to play at a certain level, game in and game out. Not good one week, shit to bed next week. Good the next week, shit to bed next week. Shit to bed the week after. Look, you know, kind of like how we have. You know, we got a lot of things going on. Infighting, superhero football, hero, hero ball. You're hearing a lot of that. Again, when you, I got one thing for you. Dallas Cowboys, Micah Parsons. Talk about this on your Bleacher Report podcast. Giants don't give a shit about your infighting or what you think or what you don't like or what you can't do. They don't care. They're coming for your meats tonight. All right? They're coming. They're coming downhill. Make no mistake. They're coming downhill at you. Giants will line up with Tyrone Tracy, with Devin Singletary. They're going to run two tight ends. They're going to hope and pray that you can't stop the run, and then you got to suck up an extra body, and then they're going to go downtown. Don't forget about Wandell Robinson. Wandell Robinson on a smokescreen. That's a problem for the Cowboys. Malik Neighbors, my best receiver in the draft, coming out. I said it time and time again. That's a problem. So, again, real quick about Malik Neighbors. Hey, Broadus, if we got, if I was, you know, you know, the one quarterback I didn't want, okay, who I didn't want to go to Washington was Jaden Daniels. So you're telling me that the LSU had Jaden Daniels and Malik Neighbors, and they still sucked. I need a comment for you, Brian. Yeah, right. You're, you're too busy. You ain't commenting on game time, Brian. I know, I know you're not. I'm making a joke, but I'll, I like it when I, I know it's not set in stone, but I think I was right. I think I was right. I think Caleb Williams is a up here is a little. He's got a great amount of talent. He's a good kid, but gotta have that a killer drive. This is why I like Jaden Daniels. But circling back, Vinny, circling back to tonight's game, I want to ask everybody that's gonna watch this video: What do you think Dallas should do? 
I think what's going to happen is Giants are going to win the toss and they're going to make Dallas play offense. I think they make Dallas play offense. Let me know what you think. If Dallas wins a toss, what would you do? If Dallas wins a toss, I'm kicking. Yep, I'm tired of airping when I got to get up on a board. If you can't come back and you're going to get trucked by the New York Giants, it don't matter. It don't matter if it's drive one. It ain't going to matter, people. It just ain't going to matter. If you can't stop the Giants offense, it ain't going to matter when you give them the ball. Give me them extra possessions. Kick, play defense. We'll know right away whether Zimmer's got these guys playing half decent or it's going to be another repeat. And, you know, listen, as a Cowboy fan, I don't run away from adversity. Um, I don't run away from adversity. If we're going to lose and get embarrassed, make it be on Thursday night football, Sunday night football, Monday night football, Thanksgiving I draw the line there. You cannot lose on Thanksgiving. Those are the worst. But tonight, and then we'll have to still want it for 10 days, that would be devastating. And I hear I hear Bobby Belt and RJ Choppy in the morning and Sean Sharif all saying, oh, well, you fans coming out saying fire the GM. It's just wasted energy. It's it just wasted energy. The idiot who went to the star and held up a sign. What are you doing? It'll never happen. Listen, boys, people are fed up. Just like we're, you know, I mean, listen, I'll give you guys credit, especially RJ. I thought, you know, I thought that um, yesterday uh, during uh, G-Bag Nation, not G-Bag, um, KNC Masterpiece, that whiff of a show, they asked some really good questions. But Kevin? I thought he asked some really good questions yesterday. But for the most part, it's all softball shit, right, Sean? It's all softball shit. Especially when you have Mike McCarthy on. Hey, Jerry, I know you got to be nice. I get it. But again, this is this is ridiculous. This is pretty, pretty easy stuff we're talking about. Sean Sharif, you could GM the team better than Jerry Jones. Bobby Bell, I don't know about you. I don't know. You make some takes. I think you know the game in and out. But then all of a sudden, you'll make a take, and I'm like, you can't stand Jaden Daniels. And I was like, I, I just couldn't understand it. Uh, he sucks, can't do that. I don't know that you said he sucked. My bad, Bobby. But I don't know, man. Sometimes I think some of you analysts get too high on your horse. I know all you can do is watch the tape. I get it. I respect you. You're a very knowledgeable man. I don't know. I don't think anybody's giving Dallas any shot. Everybody's like, well, they can win, but and that's fair. I think that's totally fair. Here's the deal. Dak has never lost head-to-head -head against Daniel Jones, just like last year when Dallas lost to uh, Jalen Hurts. So, again, records are meant to be broken, but, you know, Dallas won 40 to nothing, 41 to, I don't know, what was the other score last year? Put it in the comments. I mean, we scored 80-some points to, like, 13 or something or 17. Giants are coming out for blood tonight. They don't give a shit what's going on in Cowboy Nation. Giants want blood. Giants want blood. So, we're going to see. I hope we see Hunter Lepke. You know what's... I, I'm sorry I'm, I'm not trying to project negativity, but you know what's going to happen early in the game? We're going to have a turnover early in the game. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm totally wrong. We're going to have... A, like a turnover early in the game that goes for a touchdown. Like a stupid fumble, a running back fumble, Dak fumble, something. Where they're going to get pressure, they're going to hit him, scoop and score. And we're going to be like, what the? But again, we got to weather the storm tonight because this, this ain't your normal Giants team. They have a good defense. I've been crapped on for the last two years. It's not my fault that the coach stinks, okay? The coach stinks. Brian Dable. Do you know what Brian Dable's fault is, people? Do you know what Brian Dable's fault? He lost too much damn weight. He needs an effing sandwich. He needs a sandwich. My man's too skinny. He's gone. It's not good. How much weight did he lose? He lost it. Oh, he was ribs and dick by the end of it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I worry about him. Yes, ribs and D. Yes, ribs and D. 
There we go. Keep everybody's jockeying for position. I'm gonna just start bumper. I'm gonna bumper car. I'm in no mood, people. You just pass me on the right, and it's going to one lane. Every morning, I get these effing morons who think they know how to drive. You don't. You don't. Bumper cars. There we go. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah, I'm losing it. Left early again. Whatever. Whatever. But, um... Yeah, I mean... I would I would defer tonight and see if my defense has gotten their head out of their ass. That's what I would do. That's what I would do. Um, stay tuned for the score prediction. Um, I am going to stream the game. I was talking to Phil this morning... He's got a hurricane bearing down on him. I assume he's going to be there, but it, it will not, not be a channel member Zoom call. Uh, I will try and get to the chat as much as I can, but I'm going to be delayed behind everybody. So it will be after the play. So, sorry. I could do a post game, but you guys have to remember, I work tomorrow. So, if I do a live stream after the game, I'll be up till 1, 2 o'clock in the morning Eastern. I got to get up at 6. That's not happening. I got to do my post-game reaction, which is a recorded video. So, again, I was going to take off tomorrow, but that's not happening at this point. So, whatever. Over it. But, uh, yes. Then again, if I feel any worse, I'll bang out because I just... If my bones are, if I, God forbid, I don't think it's, I think it's allergy related. I, I, I'm not real sure exactly what it is, but I got the, the body aches aren't good, people. Body aches aren't good, but I don't have that chest stuff that I normally had when I had the five letter thing. That's not that. It's not COVID, so don't say it. it's not COVID. It's a, it's a sinus slash this is my bad time of the year. I, yes, I took my medicine. Yes, I took my allergy medicine. I'm popping pills all day. I feel like uh, popping pillies. I'm a rock star. I feel like uh, Dallas Cowboy fan. Who am I thinking of? Who sings that? <laughs> popping pillies. I can't even think, man. I'm I'm toast. The quarterback is toast. What movie? What movie? The quarterback is toast. Right. Come out to the coast. Have a few laughs. But I don't know. I don't know. This, this traffic is ridiculous anymore. I left early, people. I left four minutes early today. I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make I might make it like a minute or two late. That's possible. It's possible. But, uh, yeah, I'll go live. I have it set for eight. Assuming I'm alive later, and I'm only joking, people. I'll um, I'll go live, maybe quarter of. I'll go live as early as I possibly can. That way we can have a little pre-game. Oh, I think Phil's got a show tonight. I forgot. I think Phil's got a show. So yeah, I will be live with Phil. I forgot. Yeah, I'm not feeling the best. So I'll be there though, Phil. I'll suck it up and get through the game. So, um, the people up my ass. But anyway, yeah, put your final score predictions, people. We'll do it again tonight. I'll go live by eight, you know, yeah, at the latest, and we'll be able to do. I'll give you my mail. Uh, well, you'll see my mailbox prediction on Phil's channel, um, but then I'll bring it out for our, you know, for my live stream. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to pick the Cowboys because I've, I've been there. I think they have heart. I think they're a talented team. Unlike some of the trolls, they're very talented. Uh, they just got to get their head out of their ass and I think they could do it. And I, if we lose, I'm going to hammer them. If we win, unless it's 40 to nothing, which I think we all know that's not happening. Uh, I'm not flexing at all. Even if it was 40 to nothing, that would be kind of a slap in the face to all of us, right? I think it would be. I think it would be. So, um, yeah. I think it would be. I'm not going to give them that much credit. 
we it's a big it's a big one because I really don't want to lose tonight just for the simple fact that it's 10 days before our next game that nobody's given a chance with so if we can beat the Giants and go on the road and play Pittsburgh that could be a good that could be good that's a that's a good team nobody could say it's a bad team and if we can win in Pittsburgh then that would be good for us we, we would have a 10 day rest we would have a slight advantage even though we're going on the road and this is the first time in history everybody listen in the first time in history that Dallas had to play Sunday and then Thursday on the road on the road in their in their history Dallas has never had to do that which is astonishing to me again Dallas has never played on the road on a Thursday with three days rest everybody's done that they're getting a lot of home cooking is what that sounds like that's what it sounds like to me so but all right everybody I'm here um, I'm here I don't feel good I don't know what's wrong with me but whatever I just was at the doctor I was fine so the body aches are concerning but I'm a trooper late Right, come out to the coast, has a few laughs.